give you an example, uh, and I mean this with all due respect to Commissioner Mulroy, uh, but by far he is the most liberal member of the, of the county commission. And he uh, was elected from a small district. He's the only single member district representative on the county commission. And uh, he is the most liberal member. That particular district, Joe Cooper lost by one vote. One vote. And he, he ran in District 5, which is the single member district. Imagine, if you will, taking the county and dividing it up into 13 single member districts with only roughly 70,000 people. Uh, and you'll get the extremes at both ends of the political spectrum. If you look at the difference between the U.S. House of Representatives and the U.S. Senate, there's a major difference. Senators are much more collegial. Uh, they take longer. Their, deli their deliberations are more substantive. And typically, for conservatives, sometimes we complain that, that uh, even our Republican members of the U.S. Senate are too moderate. Well, it's because they have to appeal to a much broader electorate when they run. They have to run statewide versus a small district. And so I think that makes sure that we elect more reasonable, more reasoned, and more seasoned people to those districts. If you look at the state senate versus the, the state house, all those years that John Wilder ran the state senate up there, he, he did it with a power sharing mechanism up there with Democrats and Republicans, but there are only 33 members and they, they come from larger districts, whereas the house comes from 99 districts and they're much more rambunctious than, than the state senate.